The B-21 Raider is a new high-tech stealth bomber being developed to replace the Air Force's aging bomber fleet. Designed to be long-range, highly survivable, and capable of carrying a mix of conventional and nuclear ordnance, the B-21 will join the nuclear triad as a visible and flexible nuclear deterrent, supporting national security objectives and assuring our nation's allies and partners. Welcome back to Future City. Today we are going to talk all about B-21 Raider. So let's get right to it. With its sleek design and cutting-edge technology, the B-21 Raider is now ready to take flight. It's finally here. Meet the B-21 Raider, the world's first sixth-generation aircraft. The world has never seen technology like that produced by Northrop Grumman for the B-21. As part of ground testing, the B-21 aircraft's first load calibration test was performed in May 2022, and with final wrap-ups made over the past few months, the live debut of the B-21 Raider took place in Palmdale, California, on December 2, 2022. Designed to deliver both conventional and nuclear weapons, the B-21 Raider is a dual-capable penetrating strike stealth bomber. Combined with B-21s and B-52s, it will form the backbone of the future Air Force Bomber Force. America's enduring air power capability is ensured by the B-21, which is designed to operate in today's high-end threat environment. In addition to intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, the B-21 Raider also features electronic attack, communication, and other capabilities. It is designed to accommodate manned or unmanned operations and is nuclear capable. Moreover, it can use both standoff and direct attack munitions. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. In recognition of their courageous surprise attack against Japan during World War II on April 18, 1942, the B-21 Raider was aptly named after the Doolittle Raiders of the U.S. Army Air Force. This bold mission forced the Japanese to recall their combat forces for home defense and significantly raised the morale of Americans and U.S. allies alike. As the first bomber of the 21st century, the B-21 Raider is a fitting tribute to the historic Doolittle Raiders. Pratt & Whitney, a Raytheon Technology subsidiary, BAE Systems, G. King & Aerospace, Janicki Industries, Orbital Ack, Rockwell Collins, part of Collins Aerospace, and Spirit Aerosystems are among the major subcontractors participating in the B-21 program. Northrop Grumman is constantly improving stealth technology, adopting new manufacturing processes and materials to assure the B-21 will evade anti-access area denial weapons. This outstanding company was chosen over the Boeing Lockheed Martin collaboration for the USAF's next long-range strike bomber, LRSB. In October 2015, Northrop Grumman was awarded the contract for the engineering and production development phase. As a result of the award of the contract in 2015, Northrop Grumman has assembled a nationwide team that is developing, testing, and building the world's most advanced strike aircraft. More than 8,000 employees from Northrop Grumman, industry partners, and the Air Force are involved in the B-21 project. More than 400 vendors from 40 states make up the team. The Penetrating Strike Stealth Bomber is set to be the lead command of the Air Force Global Strike Command and will have a minimum inventory of 100 aircraft, with an average procurement unit cost, APUC, of $692 million. In 2021, Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota underwent a detailed environmental impact statement process, as demanded by the National Environmental Policy Act and other relevant regulations to identify the base as the primary operating base for the B-21 bomber and to designate it as the location of the formal training unit. The B-21 had been designed with an open systems architecture to reduce integration risk and enable competition for future modernization efforts to allow for the aircraft to evolve as the threat environment changes. The B-21 is a digital bomber constructed in a digital world. Northrop Grumman employs agile software development, sophisticated manufacturing processes, and digital engineering tools to assist decrease production risk on the B-21 program and allow contemporary sustainment procedures. 
This includes digital capabilities into the aircraft's development, construction, and testing, as well as the method by which it will be delivered to the United States Air Force. The B-21 program is utilizing Kubernetes, an open-source framework for automating the deployment, scaling, and administration of containerized applications. In 2020, the USAF's B-21 team used containerized software using Kubernetes on flight-ready hardware. The B-21 is outfitted with next-generation radar-absorbent materials, giving it its stealthy characteristics. Its high computing capacity enables it to analyze information from onboard sensors and other sources fast in order to detect threats. It features minimal aircraft signatures in many frequency bands to reduce the likelihood of interception. The improved capabilities enable the B-21 bombers to breach existing and future defenses. Long-range and large payloads strongly indicate that the B-21 is subsonic. The bomber is expected to provide flexibility to launch both conventional and nuclear munitions, penetrating and surviving capabilities in advanced air defense environments, support for manned and unmanned operations, and is armed with conventional weapons. The long-range standoff, LRSO missile, and B-6112 gravity bombs. The B-21 Raider will play an important role in a wider family of conventional long-range strike weapons and complementing systems, which will include electronic attack, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, communication, and other capabilities. It will be able to operate in anti-access, area denial scenarios in the future. Along with addressing today's threats, the B-21 Raider will be able to adapt quickly to future threats. This reshapes everything for the future of warfare and promises to enhance America's air superiority, revolutionizing the way war is fought. With its advanced avionics, powerful weapon systems, and innovative design, the B-21 Raider is sure to be an impressive addition to the Air Force's arsenal. The B-21 is part of the Pentagon's efforts to modernize all three legs of its nuclear triad, which includes silo-launched nuclear ballistic missiles and submarine-launched warheads, as it shifts from the counterterrorism campaigns of recent decades to meet China's rapid military modernization. China is on track to have 1,500 nuclear weapons by 2035, and its gains in hypersonics, cyber warfare, and space capabilities present the most consequential and systemic challenge to U.S. national security and the free and open international system, the Pentagon said this week in its annual China report. While the Raider may resemble the B-2, once you get inside, the similarities stop, said Kathy Warden chief executive of Northrop Grumman Corp., which is building the bomber. The way it operates internally is extremely advanced compared to the B-2, because the technology has evolved so much in terms of the computing capability that we can now end in the software of the B-21, Warden said. Other advances likely include new ways to control electronic emissions, so the bomber could spoof adversary radars and disguise itself as another object, and use of new propulsion technologies several defense analysts said. It is incredibly low observability, Warden said. You'll hear it, but you really won't see it. Six Raiders are in production. The Air Force plans to build 100 that can deploy either nuclear weapons or conventional bombs and can be used with or without human crew. Both the Air Force and Northrop also point to the Raiders' relatively quick development. The bomber went from contract award to debut in seven years, other new fighter and ship programs have taken decades. The cost of the bombers is unknown. The Air Force previously put the price at an average cost of $550 million each in 2010 dollars, roughly $753 million today. But it's unclear how much is actually being spent. The total will depend on how many bombers the Pentagon buys. Did you watch the live unveiling of the B-21 Raider stealth bomber? Let us know if you did and what you thought about it in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Future City for more news about this incredible aircraft.